Before we jump into the show, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Let's get to 300 likes in this video. Chat Sports challenged me this week. Love to get the challenge. Let's get this intro started. Folks, today we are doing mock the mock drafts. Two mock drafts came out. We're going to go over those mock drafts. One done by Mel Kuyper Jr. and the other one done by Pride of Detroit's Eric Schlitt. One, that being Mel Kuyper's only two rounds. Eric Schlitz is a seven-round mock draft with trades. So let's go ahead and get into the mock draft. We're going to start with Mel Kuyper Jr. since there's only two players. And with the 29th pick, Mel Kuyper goes with Adane Mitchell, wide receiver from Texas, 6'2", 196 pounds. This would be to replace Josh Reynolds. What does it say about this selection? He says, Detroit general manager Brad Holmes had a tremendous 2023 draft class, which featured impact contributors from tight end Sam Laporta, running back Jameer Gibbs, defensive back Brian Branch, and linebacker Jack Campbell. Can he do it again? Look at his Lions roster. There are many holes to fill. I could make a case for them taking depth and tier offensive linemen, an edge rusher, or a corner. But a receiver also stands out, particularly one that can run vertical routes and play on the other side of Jamison Williams. Mitchell could be a fit. A 6'2", he ran a 4-3-4, 40 in combine, showing off impressive physical tools. He had 11 touchdowns last season. You might consider this luxury pick, but this roster is so talented, the Lions can afford to take Mitchell. Mitchell would be a legit option for the Detroit Lions at pick 29. We're seeing this name come up quite a bit, specifically after the Josh Reynolds going to the Denver Broncos. I know a lot of people would be really upset if we took a wide receiver at 29. I don't think you should be really upset. The Lions do need help at receiver. They need help at receiver, offensive line, obviously defensive line, and secondary So this would be one selection, and they go best player available. That's what Brad Holmes does. He's not going to select a player just because he needs a need. He's going to go BPA. So Adonai Mitchell, realistically, could be the pick, 100%. So question for you, would you draft Adonai Mitchell? Y for yes and N for no. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's continue on with Mel Kuyper's mock draft right here. And in the second round... He has the Detroit Lions taking an edge rusher, Adisa Isaac, 6'4", 254 pounds. What did he do this past year? Seven and a half sacks, right? One forced fumble, 23 solo tackles, zero interceptions because he's an edge here. This is what he says. says, Isaac was overshadowed a bit by Chop Robertson, but he actually outproduced his teammate last season, racking up seven and a half sacks. He's not as explosive as Robinson, but he's a well-rounded defender who has an impressive get-off at the snap. At 247 pounds, he could play in the edge rushing rotation in Detroit, which needs to get more out of his pass rushers. Not named Aiden Hutchinson. And I agree with him 110%. Absolutely agree that the Detroit Lions would love to get an edge rusher at that pick. We need to get an edge rusher in this year's draft. And so I like it. I think Adiso would work well with Aiden Hutchinson. You add him with Marcus Davenport as well. James Houston, the Lions, got better at the edge position where we need to attack the quarterback. It is a need. It's not a want. It's a need. Lions need to get that done. That is a 100% for sure. They need to get it. Question for you really quick. Grade Mel Kuyper's mock draft. I want a grade, folks. So give me that grade. One thing we can grade, and that is buying tickets, sporting tickets. And if you want it to be easier, you need to get game time, folks. Game time is killer deals, last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. So you can stop stressing and getting hyped for the fun that you're going to have. It's easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area, whether it's sporting events, concerts, comedy shows, or whatever. With their lowest price guaranteed, it's the game time guaranteed, which means you're always getting the best price. If you find tickets in the same section or less, game time will credit you 110% of the difference. You can get exclusive flash deals on tickets for football 
baseball, basketball, concerts, and more. In the middle screenshot, by the way, I think it's a fantastic feature of the app. It shows you where your seat is, and if you move your phone left to right, you can see the surrounding area like a 3D live photo. It's simple. Put in Chess Force, get $20 off your very first purchase. You go to the Redeem Code section, plug in Chess Ports, $20 off, terms to apply, got to create an account to get and save some of that money. The information is going to be in the description and comment section of this video. If you're buying Lions tickets or any sort of tickets this year, make sure you're using Game Time. Download Game Time today, last minute tickets, and lowest prices. Guaranteed. Now we're going to go into the mock draft done by Eric Schlitt of Pride of Detroit. Here he says, we're going to do the seven-round mock draft, and there's a trade. Here's the trade in the mock draft just to keep you, before we get into it, he traded pick 120, or he got 120 from the Philadelphia Eagles, and he traded 205 and a fourth-round pick to get one in to trade out a fourth-round pick in 2025. So, before we get into it, again, grade the mock draft to Mel Kuyper Jr. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get into the mock draft here from Eric Schlipp. With the first pick, pick 29, he goes Kool-Aid McKinstry, cornerback from Alabama. And I absolutely like this selection for the Detroit Lions. This is a player who has been consistently now mocked to the Lions. I like him. A lot of Lions folks like him. He has done a pre-visit, a 30-visit with the Detroit Lions. The Lions draft from those visits half, 50% of the time, and he's from Alabama. If he's on the board, this realistically could be a pick for the Detroit Lions. Absolutely could be. The Lions need help at corner. Kool-Aid fits the bill. He's not the greatest cornerback in the draft, but he is an option for the Lions, and he will make the secondary much better. No doubt about it. Love this selection. I give this an A by itself. Pick 61. The Detroit Lions select a player who I absolutely adore. Cooper BB guard from Kansas State. We need guard for sure. Zeitler is a one-year deal. Graham Glasgow is a little bit older. Zeitler leaves after this year. Plug in Cooper Beebe. Then you can focus on other part of the offensive line in the draft, right? Because he's already been here for a year. So if Frank Ragnar retires, you can get a guard or a center in the draft. Makes sense. Instantly, this offensive line has depth. We need depth. There's always going to be injuries. It happens a lot. If there's an injury to Zeitler, Grand Glass can go over there. You can move, or sorry, Cooper Beebe could go over there. If you have an injury to Frank Ragnow, Graham Glasgow could move to a two center, and you can move BB to the guard where old boy was at. It makes a ton of sense for the Detroit Lions to get Cooper BB. And he is a second round prospect. That is the perfect pick. I'm giving that one an A plus. With pick 73, the Detroit Lions select Devon Tez Walker. Wide receiver from North Carolina. He's about 6'3", 200 pounds. Last year, 41 receptions, 699 yards, 7 touchdowns, an average of 17. With Josh Reynolds gone, this is the perfect replacement. It is. You're putting it in a nice round, round three, where you're not investing something super high. It's a, it's a three receiver, so you can slowly develop him. Him and Donovan Peoples-Jones can make up for it. Love the pick right here. Love it. Eric Schlitz doing a great mock draft. Right now, it's got to be an A. Okay, pick 120 in this mock draft. He has the Lions taken. Sion Vaki, safety, Utah. A six foot two oh eight safety. Your 37 total tackles. One interception, two pass defense. We need another safety. And that could be anywhere in this draft or in free agency. We're missing one right now. So absolutely Lions could take Sion right here. Because we have a need and you can develop him. And it's not like the need is gigantic or anything. Because we already got Kirby Joseph, Brian Branch out there. 
you know, we got pretty good safeties, but we do need another one so you can develop him. He doesn't need to instantly start. So I like this selection here. So far, really good mock draft for Eric Schlitz. So I'm going to ask you, grade his mock draft, A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know in the comments below. Let's continue on with his pick in 164 here, and that is Javon Foster. Offensive tackle, Missouri, 6'5", 319 pounds. We need a tackle in. Yes, we went guard already, but our backup right now is Dan Skipper. Matt Nelson's not here anymore. We need to have another backup, and that's 100%. And we're talking about a, a, a round five selection here. So you can go ahead, throw him on this roster. He can develop. And if we have a pinch, we can utilize him. We can. So I, I actually expect the Lions to go two offensive linemen, one being tackle. Good job, Eric Schlitt. He really... He's got a good grasp of what the Lions need on this one. This is a great mock draft. It's probably one of the best mock drafts I've seen so far. So, you know, shout out to him. Next pick, 201. The Detroit Lions select Brennan Jackson Edge, Washington State. The 6'4", 264 product here out of Washington. He had 26 solo tackles, 8 and a half sacks, 1 forced fumble. I love it. We need to get Edge. He's a developmental guard. Love it. All we can do is get better on the defensive line. Nothing wrong with that. And you're never going to hear me complain about getting a developmental prospect late in the draft. Last selection here for Eric Schlitz draft here. He's going linebacker Aaron Casey from Indiana. 6'2", 235 pounds. Look, Casey can actually pass rush. That's the thing here. 78 solo tackles, six and a half sacks, three force fumbles. The guy gets it done. And for development, this could be the next James Houston type of player. In all honesty, similar, very similar to Lions. Would have a good option there for Anthony Pittman as well as he's been replaced. And he actually would make the team. Hell of a mock draft. That was a great mock draft. And... You know, for me, for a grade, I want to see you guys' grade in there. I'm giving this an A. Absolute great mock draft. We didn't get kicker, so maybe. I don't know. He already had the Lions getting Jake Bates from the Michigan Panthers, or he's just going undrafted route. Other than that, great draft. Didn't get a defensive tackle, but you can't get everything. So I like this mock draft. I'm giving this an A myself. Let me know in the comment section um, if you are subscribed. Put it in there, I'm subscribed. Let's continue to subscribe, get this thing going. With that said, folks, adios.